Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian here. Um, I got a few pickups to go over from Sunday, uh, today, and then I got three things in the mail today from Declutter. Let's just dive right on in. So we went to bin five on Sunday and I, they had a few titles in there, but a lot of it was just generic stuff. They had a region two uh, uh, DVD of Paradise with uh, Phoebe Cates, but I passed on it because I don't have a region free player. Um, they had um, season two of Fame, still brand new factory sealed, but I didn't want to pay $5 for that. Uh, they had a promo uh, uh, Blu-ray 3D of uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, but I passed on that as well. So the only thing I ended up picking up was uh, a one Kino title here. It's a modern spaghetti western. Uh, it's called uh, Let the Corpses Tan. I originally thought it was like a zombie film maybe, but it's not. It uh, says it's a deliriously thrilling homage to spaghetti westerns and 1970s Italian crime films. Uh, so, I don't know. But it was still factory sealed, but the case was destroyed, but the disc is fine. The artwork's okay. It's got a little uh, tear on the back. I had to repackage it, but I definitely really, I like that artwork though. That's what really sold me. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but I'll definitely check it out. It is in French with English subtitles and it's region A. So, uh, the disc is the same as the artwork, so that's pretty, pretty neat. Uh, we went to um, Ollie's. You know, Ollie's, Ollie's used to have uh, a lot of uh, physical media in there. They don't anymore. At least the ones around here. They have a lot of books, but books are cool. They have a lot of graphic novels, kids' books, cookbooks, religious books. Um, I found one title that I was interested in. Uh, it is called Zombies A to Z. Now, I originally thought it was like, you know, it's it has a lot of cool like little facts here about zombie films like uh give me one here. Like uh Children of the Living Dead. But what really got me though is that like movies like Zombie not in here. Um they even <laughs> they even put like House of the Dead in here of all movies. I know, right? Uh, but of course, you know, of course they put Night of the Living Dead in here. The, the original, and, I, yeah, and, you know, not, not the remake from 1990, but they put the one from 2006 in here too, the one in 3D. So it's kind of weird that they put certain ones in here and the other ones they, they omit. But, uh... I mean, they put Evil Dead 1, 2, and Army of Darkness in here. Diary of the Dead, Dead Set, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, both the original and remake. Uh, Fido, you know, Shaun of the Dead. But this only goes up to, I think, 2011, so it's outdated already. But I thought it was kind of neat, and it was $3, so I picked it up. Uh, we went to a uh, Emporium and then an indoor flea market. Uh, I only came left with like three titles, but this was a steal, I'll tell you that. So I was looking around, you know, not going to find anything. And then I come across searching for Bobby Fisher, still brand new factory sealed for $1. So I had to snag that one up. Really, really good movie. It's been such a long time since I've seen it, so figured I'd pick it up. Still don't know if I want to keep, it, if I want to sell it or just try to find another open one for myself. I don't know yet. Uh, and then we went to, I don't want to call it a flea market because I have known this, I've bought from this guy for many years. I used to buy posters from him. 
movies, toys, collectibles, whatever. But he's really he's he moved and he condensed everything down. So I only picked up two DVDs. Um, so this one was five bucks, and this is uh, Nature's Grave, uh, starring Jim Caviezel and Claudia Car Carvin. This is a remake of the 1978 film A Long Weekend. I have that in my collection, so I figured I'd pick this one up. Um, this is directed by Jamie Blanks. He did Urban Legend. He did uh, Valentine. So I figured I'd pick it up and give it a watch. I don't. It even says on the back here that uh, I don't know why they call it Nature's Grave because right here it says it's long weekend. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then I picked up a film that I've been really looking for for a very long time. And it is the HBO film called Fortress. Uh, I forget what year this actually came out. It says 2006 on the on the back here, but that's not correct. I want to say it was an early 90s uh, film. Uh, and this takes place in Australia. Uh, Rachel Ward plays a uh, school teacher. Uh, and then four, ma four masked gunmen break into the schoolhouse, kidnap the teacher and her class, and transport them to a barren countryside. Terrorized and abandoned, the victims come to a shocking realization only they can save themselves from an almost certain death. So, I heard this was a really good film, so I figured I'd pick it up and give it a watch. And especially at $5, I know I've seen this like 17 18 bucks, so that was a steal for me. Um, I'm going to save Declutter for last, because that's, those are, yeah, you'll see why. So I went to Blue Ridge after work today, and I came, I didn't come across with a lot, but I picked up three titles, and I thought it was going to be $7, but it ended up only being like $3 total. So I picked up, I don't think I have this, if I do I'll sell it, but this is the uh, director's cut of Terminate, Terminator Salvation. Uh, with this digital code, you get... You get uh, the uh, theatrical cut with the special features, the director's cut, and then when they when they actually used to do digital copies on discs with codes. Uh, yeah, so I have a Warner Brothers Insider code and a digital copy code, and. I don't even know if this even exists anymore. BD Live for PlayStation. I don't know. Uh, I picked up uh, Gia in a snapper case. I know, I've heard this is a good film. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it though, but it's got a Angelina Jolie plays the lead. Uh, Faye, Faye Dunaway is also in this. Uh, this takes place in 1970s New York, Studio 54, designer jeans, drugs, and disco. One girl is living life in the fast lane. She can have any man or any woman she wants. Uh, sex, money, glamour, fame, it's all within her reach. She walks toward you across the dance floor, struts toward you down the runway, stares at you from the cover of a magazine. She's a goddess. She's a star. Her name is Gia. Um, this is from... 1998. I don't. I, I don't think I ever watched it because I was like 13 or maybe 12 when this came out. So I'll watch it now. And then I found season one of Flight of the Concords here, uh, two disc set, and it's got 12 uh, 12 episodes. So never seen that show in my life, but I, I know what it is. So. Okay, so declutter here. I got three, um, three things here. I shouldn't say title. Well, they are titles, but anyways, um, been looking for this movie for a very long time, and I always come across it with ridiculous prices. This was a decent price, so I had to pick up in the Doom Generation. Uh, this is from '98, I believe. Uh, we got James Duvall, Rose McGowan, uh, Jonathan Sh 
Shash. I uh, say that guy's name. Uh, this is a film by Greg Araki. Uh, 83 minutes long. Uh, <clears throat> so, this is the story about this hot chick and her loser boyfriend that begins one night at a nightclub where they listen to techno music. So anyway, this is what it says. So anyway, they leave the club only to have this bleeding dude jump into the back of their car. The chick curses a lot and they visit so many fast food restaurants, rob a convenience store and meet up with people played by Margaret Cho, Amanda Burse, Parker Posey, Perry Farrell, and Peter from the Brady Bunch. Anyway, in the end, they all become way more than friends and wind up being chased by a bunch of crazy neo-Nazi jocks who want to kill them when all they want to do is ride off smoothly into the sunset eating Doritos. I kid you not, that's what it says. Um, this is the uncensored director's cut. I heard it's pretty crazy, as you can see read from the synopsis here. Uh, got special features, but unfortunately, not anything spectacular. You get, uh, unfortunately, full frame, uh, Dolby surround sound, uh, interactive menus, Spanish and French subtitles, theatrical trailer, and cast information. So, there's that. Uh, I found the first season, still factory sealed, of Steven Spielberg's Amazing Stories. Uh, I gotta hold it this way because something's loose in there. Uh, this was on TV. I forget how many real how many seasons there were. I know this is available in complete series in Australia. I think it's region free though. I think I'm not totally sure on that. But uh, you get uh, a lot of stars in here from Kiefer Sutherland, Charlie Sheen, Tim Robbins, John Lithgow, Kevin Costner, and a bunch of. Uh, different directors in here as well. It doesn't say on the back here, but I'm sure it says inside. But yeah, it looks good. I don't think I ever remember this show, but 10, 10 hours and 21 minutes. I wanna say it was like 90s, I think. And then no, no, no one's collection is uh, complete without, yes, the complete collection of ALF here. Uh, four seasons worth. Um, I don't really don't like the packaging though. Because you get those stupid stacked discs that you know they don't they don't stay. I had to pop them back in. Luckily all the discs are fine, but I had to see look. It fell out of the thing. But yeah, I had to like pop it back in, but luckily none of the discs are scratched or anything. Yeah, I, I really hate this packaging, but, uh, that's, uh, <clears throat> well, this is put out by Lionsgate, but anyway, looking forward to re-watching ALF. I've seen it, but it's been many, 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 many years since I've watched it. Uh, I remember when I was a kid being on regular TV. Yes, I'm that old. All right, guys, that's everything I have for you today. Um, I'm probably going to make another video later tonight. Uh, maybe some TV collection, maybe. We'll see. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, my brother and I will definitely make more videos in the future. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that for what it was. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties. My phone decided to die halfway through, so I had to... Well, it didn't, it didn't die. My uh, my memory, my uh, storage is full, but I deleted a bunch of stuff, so we're good now. So anyway, guys. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.